So just by pulling into a campsite, I ruined all the tires on my car and trailer. Yeah, that happened. Just a few weeks back, Linda and I were on an extended road trip down through Nevada. And we pulled into a BLM campsite called Mill Creek in central Nevada. And uh, that turned out to be a nightmare. It was a nice place. Uh, I mean, it appeared to be nice. About half the campsites were taken. Uh, the sun had already gone down, so it was kind of that twilight kind of a light. And there was one, uh, there was an upper campground and a lower campground. And we, the upper campground was all taken, and there was a couple spots lower, uh, available lower. So we pulled into a campsite. I had to back in, and Linda came running up to the uh, door, and she says, Stop and take a look at your tires. So I, I did, and I got out of the car, and just in backing into that campsite, my tires had gotten, on both the trailer and the car, had gotten loaded with goat's head thorns. These are nasty thorns. They're very sharp, very stiff. They'll puncture tires, puncture rubber real easy. And the thorns were like three-eighths, maybe even up to a half inch long. And there were thousands of them in every tire. This is my trailer tire, so these trailer tires need to be replaced. These thorns in here are about three-eighths of an inch long. This one's a shorter one, but I guarantee you some of these, they're not all that long, but some of them are. I knew immediately that we were in a lot of trouble. I mean, we were 20 miles, well, actually about 30 miles total from the last town. But all we could do was, I pulled back out of that campsite and pulled up into the parking lot of that uh, campground in the gravel, and we just camped there for the night. I fully expected to have flat tires by the next morning. But luckily I got out and the tires were, were still holding, all were holding air. Now, you might remember I mentioned on a previous video that this was the last trip for the tires that I had. And I figured I could get, you know, maybe up to 10,000 miles out of them before I needed to replace them. So they didn't have a lot of tread on them. You know, they were safe, but I knew that we were going to need to replace them. If they were thicker tires, maybe those thorns wouldn't have been so dangerous, but the thorn is actually just as you drive, it's going to continue, even on a new tire, it's going to continue to get driven in further and further and further and further as you use the tire. So we knew we had to do something. So we backtracked to, I think it's called Battle Mountain. Uh, there was a Napa in town and I thought the tires would go flat before I even got there. But I went in and I bought uh, a slime kit and enough slime to do all the tires. So we were on thorns and needles for the rest of the trip. I fully expected everything to go bad during the trip, but it didn't. You know, we actually made it home, didn't get the first flat tire till about a week after we got home. But yeah, one of those thorns or several of those thorns made it through the, my right front tire, and I actually, actually ended up using this kit. Let me show you how, how we used it or how it works. Let me first show you what's, what's inside here. Well, the kit, this was a $55 kit at Napa, by the way, but it contains a tire pump, runs off a 12 volt, and the cords on it are long enough, the cord and the hose on it is long enough so you can get to any tire on your car or truck. And I ended up using this, but it also contains this, this container of slime here. It's a rather small container of slime. While I was there, I, I purchased more slime. <laughs> This is another small bottle. I got several big bottles as well. I kind of ended up buying all they had on the shelf, enough to do all my tires. So, And then it contains this little tool here, which is what you need to uh, get the uh, cap off your, or pull the stem out of your tires. It's got that also. And every bottle of slime has one of those on top. So it ended up working. I got a video here I'm going to show you on how it worked. You got to make sure that after your t if your tire's flat, you got to make sure to rotate the tire until the valve stem comes up at least at least halfway up on the outside of the tire. That's so you can undo the pull out the uh, Schrader valve and squeeze the slime in. 
and then after you do it you have to um, you know you try to put air in the tires but maybe maybe the hole is is up above that or something you need to maybe actually drive the tire for 15 or 20 feet or something to get the slime to uh, coat the inside of the tire and then if it's if it's a nail hole or a maybe maybe even a something slightly larger the slime will fill it maybe enough to in my case it was enough to get me by until I actually had to replace all the tires on my car and I'm gonna have to replace the tires on the trailer now I just love the smell of new rubber. Like I said, I was due for tires anywhere, anyway, so this didn't hurt too bad. But that's what I had to do in the end anyway. I just had to, re I had to replace them. My tire, old tires would have probably gone for another, oh, I don't know, six or 7,000 miles all right. I wouldn't have had to replace them until, you know, next spring or something. But anyways, it's nice to have new rubber for the winter coming on. Montana does get heavy, heavy snow and ice, so this is good. Well, the moral of this story, this just goes along with my other videos on car maintenance and safety on the road. Get that slime kit. I think it's better than the Fix-A-Flats because those only have a given amount of air in them, at least with the slime kit, or you can buy a pump to go, you know, just off the shelf at Walmart sells 12-volt tire pumps. But I... But the slime worked exceptionally well, and it did seal that, the holes in my tire, and it, it got us by. Uh, I saw some uh, reviews on slime, and it does work better than the Fix-A-Flat. Uh, they actually put a pretty big hole in the tires, and they tested out a bunch of different ones, and slime was one of the best, best uh, working uh, tire repairs that you could get. So, it did work, so put the, go get that little kit and stick it in your tool kit. I think it's a good thing to have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. We'll see you around. Well, we got filled with uh, thousands of them on each, each tire. So we went and bought the um, slime kit. And, uh, and yeah, this is like uh, three weeks later. But one of those thorns obviously made it through my tire finally. It's time for a new set of skids.